Welcome back to Azern Legacy. So let's continue doing some side stuff before we go back to the main plot. I guess we won't be interacting with those new characters in the background. Alas. Again, again, the idea were just people in the background. Oh. Anything. Hey, oh. hey, Anna. Hey, wow. hey, Anna. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing here? Go ahead, Chiroi. Oh, one second. Anna, what in the world are you doing here? There you That's go. Four seconds. Are characters associated with the color red attracted to this place? Looking for clues, of course. Groski is hot on the trail of a secret organization and I plan to help however I can. Yo, remind, me, remind me, Pedro. In, in different parts of the game, can these characters actually show up in other areas too? Yes. Or is it pretty much just... Oh, okay. So like... Anna. Oh, sorry, go on. Like, per se, you went to a different one at a different time. Is it possible Hannah could have showed up in one of the other different uh, areas? This is the next uh, bit for her, which is why I'm doing it now. Go on. Sorry. Hannah, how do you know about Targent? Uh, oh, I'm Groski's number one fan. That makes it my duty to know his business, and right now his business is Targent. Plot twist, she's actually a secret double agent for Targent. So you came all the way out here to track them? Um, basically, Jova, every time there's a, a chapter change, uh, the the NPCs are reshuffled. Um, I see. Um, is it let's not really still... similar the way, you know, quest lines are tied to specific NPCs working dark? So yeah, Nino Kuni 2, Nino Kuni, yeah, Nino Kuni 2 also works like that, basically. So. Is it possible to, like, capture all these characters on the chapter shifts? Or, or if, like, you know, say you've been playing the game the way you've been playing it, is it like, do they shift after you find them in a certain world to simulate those chapter shifts? Or at this point, is this pretty much where they'll stick for the rest of the game? Um, if I remember correctly, I, I never actually experimented much with that. Like, uh, usually I just go along and just sort of find them as I go. Well, sometimes I follow them in advance. My Calypian clan tracks danger even in his sleep, so I have to be proactive. Wow, so Clamp, um, um, so Clamp uh, sleepwalks his way into crime fighting? Um, Emmy, maybe you should warn um, Gorski that he has a stalker. We've already talked about um, uh, their slips. Uh, go ahead. I'd hate to see the damage he caused if he did actually do that. Remember, like, like Shira said uh, in, in a previous part, uh, Dweb's like, uh, his work is pu a public service that people are aware of. So he, him... Yeah, like she doesn't know his address or anything. It's not like she knows his address or anything. She didn't even know he had... Remember, she didn't even know he had a wife. So... Yeah. And that being said, though, following a man across literal countries internationally... Could be a also, bit of a cause for yeah, also, also her, her wording, like, oh, I, I mean, they essentially she's the number one fan, I'm entitled to know his business. So, like. uh, <laughs> let's settle down there, Hannah. Anyway, let's, let's go to the village. Hoogland. Away from Hannah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the village that sacrificed their uh, virgins. They're somehow to all the these cultists were not arrested. Alright. So, let's see what's happening. Well, you know what they say to you, all's well that ends well. And then as soon as they get off the bus to Odeus, they get arrested. See, but basically, Joba, the reason I'm now looking for all this is because we, uh, uh, at the moment I go into Chapter 5, uh, um, these, if I remember correctly, all these positionings of the NPCs that they have right now will shift. So I will lose my uh, chance to talk to them in this position. But now that I talked to Emily in, in Torito, yeah, now sure, she's here. In chapter 5, you're pretty much locked into stuff. Sure. Go ahead. Hello there, Emily. Uh, is your husband not with you? How did you get here? How did you get here so fast? I have my own airship. What? And a jetpack? Tourism. Yeah, tourism. I, I hired a private one. Cool. So it's not that complicated. I mean, they obviously saved a lot of money if they're going on a world trip, uh, you know. Oh well, to be honest, we had a little tiff. I was nagging him to try some of the local specialties. I suppose it got on his nerves. So wow, you know, you guys were lucky. So he went off and left you. Hmm, that was terribly inconsiderate of him. Oh no, it's absolutely fine. I'm just a bit bored, that's all. I even had to go at making up puzzles to pass the time. Let me you guess, know, you made him try other... a fish smoothie in another town, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> that would explain a lot, actually. Puzzle 99, brownie points. 
After upsetting his girlfriend, a young man goes to her boutique to apologize, but finds only a box of brownies and a message. Arrange these brownies to make the thing I like the most, and maybe I'll forgive you. There are five you can't move, though, and you can't have two toppings on the same, of the same color next to each other. Can you make the thing that she oh, likes the most? Lord. The boutique sign may give you a clue as to what that is. If you want me to forgive you... Here you go, guys. Puzzles will now decide the fate of a relationship. Yes. I'll forgive you if you solve this complicated puzzle. <laughs> well, well, not exactly... God forbid, that if you can't solve this... If you can't solve this puzzle, by as God is my witness, I will divorce you. I will Funny. take the kids and everything in the divorce and sue you for every penny if you can't solve this puzzle, my I beloved. I miss that reminded of that now patched out thing that happened in the Spider-Man PS4 game where one person requested a billboard to be, you know, you significant one to, will you marry me? And she said no. <laughs> Damn. Also, also, is it just me? Or is that crown symbol on the top looks just like the crown shape of the Keyblade, as well as the, those hearts look very much like the heart shape of the Kingdom Hearts series as well? Okay, to be fair, when the, for the crown, hmm. I can tell you that it's relatively common imagery. I can get why the crown looks like that. The idea of the Kingdom Hearts crown is that it's shaped like the grooves of a key, essentially. Also, what the hell is wrong with that cat? Yeah, that cat is like... Half blue and the expression. Oh, <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> pet you Remember, too, the more the, the closer we have to solve in the puzzle, the more the animation changes. <laughs> so maybe it's just meant to trick so you up into thinking you that you're getting closer. The there you go, Shiro. You can pet the cat in this game. You just have to do that by. Proxy if you want to pet the cat, yeah. you, you have to. If you want to pet the cat, you, you have to first solve the puzzle. It looks now like I'm a very sure. angry cat. <laughs> now also, that's so sure tall. Now, massive story. If in order to pet the cat, you had to do a puzzle involving a P. I don't know, Shiro. I don't know, Shiro. The cat looked pretty happy just now. Then I would have to oh, go and visit Hino because clearly he has a problem with me. <laughs> No, he doesn't have a problem with, uh, with you specifically, it's just that uh, he can't get over his... Uh, like you yourself said, she, uh, usually say, Shiroi, he, instead of going to therapy about the kitty, uh, he decides to instead make games about said kitty dying. That's so... so. Get out of his pain, so. Why doesn't he buy himself a cat? He can have an office cat, he practically lives there. But uh, maybe he knows when a... Oh, as a partner cat, how nice. He probably he doesn't need to go to therapy, he just needs to buy a cat! Big brownie points. Aww. The young man's girlfriend is clearly a big cat lover. This should cheer her up and put the man back in her good books. I guess uh, even we the help cats the cats are, with their uh, relationship. In love. <laughs> a little proud. Yep. So there you go. Oh, you two are lucky that you happened to come you know, here not too long after they stopped doing the wife sacrifices. You know, I asked a couple living here if I could use their oven to make some goodies. Oh, you mean Julian and Romilda? Yes. I did not already, did they? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, that, the tourists are very... That's right, that husband of mine is going to be so surprised when he gets a whiff of these cakes. And there you go, Amelie's cakes um, that we're going to talk about in, in Curious Village. That'll bring him out of his bad mood. I don't doubt it. I hope you'll be reunited soon enough. And who knows, those cakes could be very important to the course of history in the future. Who knows? But uh, like I said, it's a good thing these tourists came... After they stop doing the ritual of sacrificing women to the Dragon Lord. Alright. Macintosh. Yeah. Uh, is, remember, he, he's an archaeologist. So why was there a pie there? Don't worry, he's gonna be important later. Um, yeah, but why didn't you talk to him there? Uh, didn't like he mostly most of the time he just has a puzzle and just talks about how uh, oh I'm near I'm found a new as an artifact look how cool this looks and it's just kind of like eh might as well move on. Layton skipping out on a puzzle? I know, right? Alright. 
evening, Emmy. Say, you haven't seen a couple of villainous no do gooders tripsing about the place, have you? Well, if you're looking for a couple, they have been here and there. One way or another, they're coming with me to Scotland Yard, even if I have to swim home with them on my back. And I will do that, you know. You've seen me do that in the yeah, movie. Yeah, we have seen you do that. Yeah, so... Yep. <laughs> Inspector Groski, you... You swam here. All the way across the ocean. <laughs> you remember, Emmy didn't see him do that in the movie, so... Yeah, she, she was barely in that movie. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, yes I did, Eddie. yes I did. It's all part of being a good policeman. Okay, well of course, how else would I get here? The sea salt works wonders for the old pompadour, don't you know? <laughs> there you go, Ter, you heard here. Salty, salt water is good for the pompadour. <laughs> I'm gonna press X to doubt. <laughs> I can't wait to see those dastardly villains behind bars, twiddling their phones and playing tidbits. But where are they? Well, good luck with that, Groski. Moving on. Eat this delicious looking chicken over here. And, there, and once again, there's Ammon. Hey! And look at that. Uh, lo looks like Ch uh, and looks like Chummy, I mean. It looks like Emily and Chummy made up. My, fancy seeing you here. Uh, who's that man over there? Hi. What a pleasant surprise! This is a sort of the honeymoon tour. Um, I, I, I wonder. If we... That it is, and we've taken enough pictures to fill a small wheelbarrow. Oh, here, say cheese. You know, I should, I should go talk to him, but I'm pretty sure that would mess up the fabric of time, and I don't know why. <laughs> Charles and I tried to get a commemorative photo next to that golden bird statue, and when we got it developed, it turned out there was an enormous bird perched up on top of it, and there we were, totally oblivious. And then, and then Pedro presses on Chelby, and the words Thai Paradox appear on the screen. That would be funny if they did something like that. But keep in mind now, now Chelby and his wife have a picture of Leighton and Luke. Mm hmm. Alright, go, let's go. <laughs> Me? Oh, I'll probably keep guarding our ancient sea groove and battle ferocity. So don't go telling anyone. <laughs> uh, it's like the ending of that Avatar The Last Airbender episode with um, uh, the sun Aztec people. Now that you know our secret, will we cancel our yeah, sure. oh, Just kidding. But don't tell anyone. Not this way, not that way. Ugh, I made a total mess of it. It's ruined. What's wrong, Mary? Life. What's wrong? Well, that too, but uh, some. Uh, 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 this is related to it. But enough about the Venomical Party number nine. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> what's the matter? I mean, no. Mary. M Mary? Mary, Mary I why are you talking to yourself? I almost called her a mirror. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go, 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 go ahead, go ahead, sure. Oh, good thing you showed up. This puzzle was a gift from Umid, and if I can't solve it, I'm going to look like a right Wally. So there you go, Lizzo. Mary wants to look smart to impress Umid. <laughs> you heard here first. You heard here first, folks. Umid appreciates a, a, an intelligent woman. Right, Wally. Okay, what kind of vernacular? Country wise, is that from? When I think Wally, I just think, uh, you know, where's Wally? <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Alright, hmm. so let's look at this puzzle. Puzzle 84 Potion placement. I mean, obviously, a right Wally means a stupid person, but I'm trying to figure out from which country that originated from to try and get where Massinia is. That uh, is the greatest puzzle of this game. A witch has asked you to tidy up her house and tells you where to put each potion. Red, five steps from the back door. Blue, six steps from the back door. Five from the red potion. Green, five steps from the front door and free from the blue potion. Purple needs to be four steps from the front door and free from the red potion. Put the potions away in the right places. By the way, the front door is on the top left and each square represents one step. So basically, yeah. so basically, so sh it's... So sure I re so sh Go on. So sure I remembers a mirror and we get a puzzle involving a witch. Uh, well done, Shiroi. <laughs> in the town that resembles a yeah. I know, right? I'm like, cursed. Wow. Alright. Are you the cursed child? No. No. Alright, let's put the potions in the correct place then. 
I wouldn't subject myself to that. Because <laughs> even despite okay. everything else, that was shit on its own. Yeah. Hey, guys! What if Voldemort and Bellatrix secretly had a love child together that turns out to be the next antagonist of the series? Alright, so if I step in the back door, if I step in the back door, just checking out. I would just have to wonder if J.K. Rowling was on some shrooms when she made Cursed Child. It's not even a proper book. This is how All it's right. done. There we go. Good stuff. Wicked! You've put all the potions right where the witch wants them. A good job, too. She might have turned you into a frog if you hadn't. No, 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 no. She would have, she would have done into a graham cracker. King's Quest 1 said. <laughs> or maybe she would have turned us into a spoon. I hear Ashley's pretty good at that. Right, Cherry. Right, he's going to be so impressed when he sees I've solved it. You know, if I he doesn't... You know, if he doesn't love you in spite of your puzzle-solving skills, is he really the one for you? Well, she's trying to impress him, let's see if I... Not to mention, as we're going to see later, um, they do kind of imply that Yumid is also kind of into her, so... But... Oh, like, I'm not too surprised by that. Are you gonna tell him next time that? you have to solve a puzzle and Emmy's not here? Go ahead. You have quite the soft spot for Umid, don't you? He's the only teenage boy in town, of course she does. <laughs> Slim pickings. Go ahead. Oh, you could tell? I confess, I'm a bit of a romantic at heart. No, really? You had it so well. Indeed. Oh, but don't like Grand no. Uh, oh, but don't like Grand no. She'll have kittens. She says I won't be able to uphold the family tradition with the love on with the love on the brain. Well, She'll have you know, kittens. She must have had love at some point. <laughs> since she what an interesting yeah. way of saying yeah. she'll be angry. She'll have kittens. So if I'm actually is a saying, believe it or not. I, I, I just find it interesting, the implication that uh, if you get angry, you'll give birth to kittens. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like I don't get what Gran's worried about. Clearly, she must have fallen in love at some point to have eventually had a granddaughter. Maybe it's an obligation, I don't know. Huh. Oh, oh, maybe really? she did have love, but it ended badly, and now she's like, screw this noise. <laughs> but then, if you're all about continuing the lineage, well, you know, having someone to look after it, if, you know, the lineage doesn't continue, won't that mean you run out of guardians? Mm-hmm. My- oh. How about this? For every one of my dreams that you may come true, I'll give you a bit of moral support. Deal? Maybe she's one of those uh, parental figures Jova that thinks that she's a bit too young for thinking about that stuff yet, apparently. I don't know. Maybe. Also, grand deal, Marie. <laughs> we'll get back to this. Um, for now, let's move on. Alright, we already talked to... I don't think we're going to do anything. Yeah, we're going to... Alright, if I remember correctly, we're going to... This all for now, so we're going to get back to the main story now. All right. After we've done some gardening, apparently. No, I'm just gonna get that new out of the way because you know my OCD demands it. So. You literally entered in that thing and didn't even solve it. I know. Just... Yeah, I leave no puzzle unsolved except those ones. <laughs> and that fish, and that fish drink one from earlier. Well, how about this, Webs? You're the one who's constantly playing written out of character. Well, I'm playing him out of character. Go ahead. Uh, no. All right. I'm going to release the power contained within the Oris towns. Are you all ready? As in, are should okay. we be wearing? Should we be wearing hazmat suits? No, no, uh, Luke, I got, I got a better idea. Take cover. So this is your, your this is your warning. Like, are you sure you want to do this now? Jova. This is it, Professor. Okay. Then let's begin. Time for nuclear fission! Uh, not quite. 
Can I write my last will and testament? Oh shit, I'm too late. I don't know why, but I have a good feeling that we'll survive. Wow! The eggs are glowing! That's it? Yes, but for whatever reason, one of them remains inactive. This... This is not an aura stone. Eh? Okay, which one of them sent us a fake? Oh crap, oh, one of them is fake. It's not? You mean it's a fake? You mean we it's might have either fake. risked I, keeping uh, them? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't understand. If it were a fake, then it would not have resonated in my hands when we first acquired, which means somebody switched them. Hmm. Gee, I wonder who it could possibly be. Well, you already know the story of the game, though, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which means we might have an uh, a, uh, an, an Azran spy among us. Then presumably the real stone was swapped out at some point to replace an account of it. It's got to be Targent! They're the only ones sneaky enough to do something like uh, this! Luke, Luke, Targent aren't sneaky enough to tie my shoes together. <laughs> go on. Why go through all of that trouble? If they wanted the eggs, they could just as easily have swapped out all of them. That is a good point. Hmm. Then perhaps their intent is not to hinder us, but to guide us. I guess. Hmm. Uh, professor, their intentions aren't what's important. Professor, their oh, intentions sorry. aren't what's important right now. What matters is getting that egg back. Please ignore me. Like their intentions could deliberate how much of this is a trap or not. Also, Professor, please ignore my constantly shifting voice. <laughs> Pay no attention uh, to the man behind Debbie. I don't know, Emmy. That's a little sus. You're absolutely right, Emmy. But how might we track it down? That's a point. If it really is Targent's doing, it won't be easy to track down one of their. Er Airships. Hmm. Oh well. I wonder if the background changes based off of where you might be when this cutscene goes on. Oh yes, it does. That's, a, that's actually a very easy thing to pull off because all you have to do is load the models for this cutscene depending on whatever was the last play. So that, that programming, spe speaking as a programmer, that, that can be very easily done. That's, very, that's a very easy thing to get done. If I may interrupt, there's a possibility that the new location of the Aura Stone may appear on the walls of the Azran Dome. All right. Yeah, also it's told, a, oh, actually, that's pretty helpful. Back to the Azran Dome. It says on these ancient in inscriptions that it will be at the site of the Ancient Electronic Entertainment Expo. What an old but dead concept. <laughs> Ooh, really? If that's the case, then our troubles are allayed. Let's go there immediately. All right, then. To the Azran Dome. Okay. Uh... The Azran Dome was in Cod, wasn't it? Full speed ahead, and avoid the fish mill visit at all costs! Alright. Mm, let's not save our progress, not just, not, 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 not right away. But, but what if your 3DS gets break? Chapter 5, Into the By the way, Aurora, do you feel like changing back into your old clothes? Man, man, James, ever the optimist, aren't you? <laughs> hey, listen, if the game's telling me to save, I'm gonna save. Well, for my purposes in terms of recording this, well, I'll explain in a moment. Go on. Um, Emmy. Do you dislike my outfit? Remember, that you, was a yes. random thing to bring up. Well, remember, it was Amy who suggested uh, she change to a different outfit. Uh, yeah, like the bit right of a late you know, moment to ask about it. you happen to start normal conversations Go on. this way? Go on. Not at all. Because Azran robes are a part of who you are. They're not something I'd wear, but they suit you perfectly. I'm guessing he knows... Go for a sick cosplay. I'm guessing he knows going for, uh, you know, girls like to shop for clothes type of thing. Again, what a weird thing to say at the moment. But nonetheless, here we are back in COD with the Tron lines and everything. Yep. I think I feel more comfortable like this. 
Um, this is who I am. This is who I am, not a shadow of who I want to be. I am, I am all of me, I am everyone. Go on. Then my days as a fashion ad advisor are over. Well, off you go then. Well, even though I was lost, Leave you can always... Leave the making... Leave the clothes making to me and the professor. Yeah, I was about to say that. Well, I mean, you can always, you know, uh, join the professor and Luke on their fashion adventures. You needn't worry about me. I am fulfilling my mission, the purpose of which I am here. Oh. Collect eggs. Your purpose is essentially an Easter egg hunt. Well, I guess f the Azran the play uh, the Azran think in mysterious ways. I don't know. Go on. Well, I guess it's better than her purpose just being to pass butter. I guess. Go on. I should go then. I should go. Wait, wait. My planet oh, needs me. It's me. Why I got both surface mass effect. All right, do your error thing. Or die. Oh. <laughs> I have found it. I believe the real ore stone can be found in this location. My mm. oh. shit. And well, if you look at that, it turns out a card is the location of an egg. <laughs> she means this location as in she's pointing to the location. Mm -hmm. Uh. Ah. That is unfortunate, but not unexpected. Let me guess. Yes, Cole. Ooh, you know this place, Professor? Jersey. <laughs> I'm afraid so. The egg is currently kept in Tarjan's headquarters, at the center of a foul and savory place known as New Jersey. Uh, Otherwise known as the nest. The nest. It was indeed hard to stole the fifth egg and replaced it with a fake. Professor, we can't simply waltz into Tarkin space now, can we? One does not simply walk into Tarkin. No, this will be a very dangerous operation. If we are to infiltrate Tarkin space, we'll have to keep our senses sharp. Well, I'm sure it's safe for me a little child to come. <laughs> but we do that anyway, don't we? In fact, I've been meaning to say, didn't you feel something different about Cod this time? Oh, here you go. I wonder if all the places we visited have changed. Maybe we should go back and make sure we haven't missed any puzzles. There, there, oh, there you go, Jova. There you go, Jova. I see. They're doing the Kingdom Hearts thing where after fulfilling a certain task, the world's changed massively, don't they? Yeah, Nino Kunitu does the same thing where if every new chapter, the NPCs change their whatever they're doing and new quests are unlocked. So this is a common thing. Right, okay, I was under the impression that after you go from chapter 5, you're pretty much locked on the story realm. No, no, no. Um, the game will actually give you, when you get to the proper point of no return, the game will warn you. After, if you go beyond this point, you will not be able to return until you've completed the story. Are you sure you want to go? And you still have quite amount of, the amount of puzzles. Mm-hmm. Well, granted, you know, when it comes to puzzles, you know, you've always got that mechanic where you've got the cat for any yeah, you Yeah, However, the unfortunate thing is that you miss out of possible story interactions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why when I did the crossover, I made sure to get every interaction I could get. Same thing with when I did Last Spectre as well. Indeed. All right, so let's uh, take. Let's I stick. still remember also getting that wonderful goldfish to through his races back in Last Spectre. <laughs> All right, so oh, look at that. It's raining on the hilltop. Look out. Okay. Um. Okay. Seems. Oh, what a shock! It's raining somewhere in Europe. <laughs> Although weird that it's raining specifically that in that part point. of town. That is a good point. Cod doesn't really remind me of any particular, you know, European location. Does it rain off the new is it, is it, is it, Yeah, is it, is it meant I to be... Uh, the, yeah, I, I guess Scotland because of the peril with the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be uh, Scotland. I don't I like the look of those rain clouds. I'm, Sorry, go on. The only one I've not been able to pinpoint what it's based off of is Massinia. Yeah. And I, maybe Massinia is just a hodgepodge or it's supposed to be like a take on a very... Very uh, isolated town that is just doing its own thing. How about this, Jova? Perhaps that is a puzzle best left unsolved. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we have a new episode called A Globetrotting Honeymoon.
Inspector Xiaomi, renowned in London for his hard-hitting detective work, is full of joy as he and his wife prepare to settle in their honeymoon. So basically, this episode is a prequel episode to the to their honeymoon that we've been seeing. I must say, Chums, you really surprised me with this world. Oh, never mind. It's after. Never mind. I mean, I mean, I think I meant to say, I meant to say, sequel. Flash forward. What? You're absolutely sure you? Oh, never mind. It is. Oh God, I'm completely fucking over right now. You're absolutely sure your boss will mind? It won't be a problem. The chief superintendent already gave me the go ahead. He has no idea what's going on at the police station right now. Well, if the man at the top says it's all right, then it must be. Yes. You know, I can't help thinking there'd be another man in that position if it weren't for my recklessness. He saved my life back when I was a constable. Took a bullet that was meant for me. Uh, classic, classic, co classic cop backstory. If he'd survived, I've no doubt he would have flown straight to the top of the ranks. Oh, he died. Yeah, this is a very typical backstory given to cop characters. Like, uh, I had a partner, but he took a bullet for me type of thing. Uh, I miss the yes, old man. Yes, valiant. He would have been so proud to see you become the man you are today. Without Gilbert, I won't be here at all. I owe him a debt of gratitude I can never repay. He's in a happier place now with Sullivan. <laughs> I mustn't forget to give Clamp his due either. If it weren't for him, I would never have met my wonderful wife. Remember, Emily is um, uh, Groski's sister. I'm sister. Yep. Oh, it's you who's wonderful, Chelms, my love. Oh, Interesting. That's, that's kind of it's sunny. That's how my mom and dad met via mom <clears> and <throat> <dad clears throat> friend's brother. Oh, you're blushing. You look so cute when you're embarrassed. Honey, you're embarrassing me. The oh, sunny moment is going to be such a special London time for us. We can take our time, can't we? As much time as you like, darling. Look, here comes the bus. This is the start of a wonderful adventure. And look at that, Libs, the, the buzz arrived on time this time. Now we are in a fantasy. <laughs> Alright, with that episode done, that is it. So, in the tune in next time, everybody, where, if I remember correctly, we're going to continue the main story. So, see you then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.